turn on the torch, light up the flame, time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are, here I am to explain, to teach, and create again, and again, and again, and again. Okay, today we're going to do a marble, a nice little stripy marble. And it's going to be a little bit of a twist to it, and you'll see what I'm talking about as we go along. And I promised you a couple of marble movie videos, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm glad that I'm still out here trying to work my magic. You'll have to excuse the mess. It's the maid's day off, of course, but most people know if you're watching one of my videos and it's not cluttered, something's wrong with me. <laughs> but truly, folks. Now, I'm going to make a striped marble. First of all, I've got most of them down in my... Um, my stringer is down to about this thickness. I'm going to do this one real, real quick. This is periwinkle blue, I believe. Just making that stringer down to what I want it to be. And that should be enough of it. I'll leave that there. Done. And since it's still warm, we're going to go ahead and use that as is. Three stripes. Okay, this one is uh, Illuminati, so it's going to give it a little bit of a twist of uh, UV reactive color to it. And last, you saw the first color, or the color that I said was the right size finger. This is just yellow, probably canary yellow. but I wouldn't swear to it. Now! It's not going to be a very big marble. It's going to be about this big. Okay. I'm just getting this down so that it can... I said there's going to be a twist to it, and this is part of the twist. And most people know, hey, that's just a regular swirl marble. And that's where a lot of people can leave off. And having a UV reactive in it is pretty cool, too. Also, some of you guys were worried about having a marble mold. And I do have a marble mold. It's right here. And probably it'll go down this, this size, marble size right here. I also added, if you ever get a graphite pad, you can take a drill bit and get some... Um, take a drill bit to a graphite pad and drill some holes. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. I added because I do the micro marbles as well. And they are just on there. And... One of the things you've got to realize is you don't have to have the right size marble mold to make a marble that size. And I will get to that situation in a moment. But first of all, to make it more round, you tilt towards your main mass and it will roll right into basically a round ball to begin with. But if you're getting it a little bit too, you know, too squishy, you tilt it this way, and it goes more into a teardrop shape. But right now, this is getting quite, quite molten, without me even putting it into a mold. Without me even putting it in mold. Now, here is the real twist to this video. Okay, you ready for this? Actually, let's do it on this side. Nope. Ah. When you want a needle point available to you at the time, I guess you got to pull a string or pull it to a thinner straight rut to begin with. Okay? That should do the trick. Now what I'm going to do is heat up, touch, and twist. 
on the surface of these swirls that I've already created. That one didn't turn out as good as I wanted to, but it, it'll turn out in the long run. And I'm going to do three twists that way. And what I'm doing this one is clockwise. And you just hold off on that for a second. And it starts to cool and you can bend it off and it snaps right off. And then you got another little twirl twirl going on. And the third one. Same direction. Let it cool. Back and forth. Boom. Now, these were clockwise. I'm going to do some on the top and a little bit on the bottom that are counterclockwise. Touch and twirl. And back and forth. Might take some time, some time. And twirl away. Third one on this side. There we go. I'm going to smooth this out and let it sort of flow back into itself there. And as you can see, I only really put it into the marble mold just for a second, but I, it, it's not needed as of yet. And again, if you don't have a marble mold, take a drill bit with a piece of cherry wood or something like that or if you got a graphite pad that you can uh, and they do have graphite scraps that you can get a hold of uh, just make sure slab whatever you can okay now we're I should have made that into it let's just do this there we go and now that's going to round off, and I'm going to do the counterclockwise again on this side of those. And so far, again, I have not really put it into a marble mold. And that's rounding off quite nicely. Okay. One spot. Touch and twist. one was a little hot so it's going to take a little while to break off and do that because I was melting the whole bottom part of that marble next one touch and twist and last but not least touch and twist There we go. And we'll let that round in. I don't know if you can no, you probably can't see it inside the the flame. Let's see if we can let it start to cool and you'll see the swirls of color and everything happening in here. There it goes. I think you can. And I put the UV lamp on it, but until it cools off, the UV swirls won't even really show up. So, finally going to use this just as a. I'm going to use one that's a little smaller than what I have. In other words, it's it's basically this size. Actually, this size marble. Actually, it's this size, but I'm going to go down to this size here. You don't have to have the exact size to make a bigger marble. In that you can spin it on the, the, the round part getting spun inside the curve of the marble or inside the mar mold itself will get you the roundness that you're looking for. Also, another thing... Uh, a, a helpful hint is look at the reflection 
of the lamp, your, your overhead lamp, and you'll see it sort of wobbling a whole lot there. And I'm still smoothening it out as we go, as we speak. But when the wobble goes away and your lamp, lamp sort of light, your lamp light sort of looks like it's just on a reflection of a surface without going womp, 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 then you know that you're closer than you'll ever be. And you won't have to worry about some of it. Now again, I'm going to do, this is X and Y axis here that I'm top and bottom basically. In a second, I'm going to go from side to side. And that's just part of the way I do my marbles to try to make them a little bit more round all the way around. I know, bad fun, but doable. Again, I'm not really pressing it into the mold. I'm sort of just spinning it around on the edge of the mold to help it make it more round. I can't explain it. You're not forcing it. You're letting that glass flow. That's the, that's the main thing. I'm going to go into one size a little bit bigger than that because I can. And you can see already it's still flickering the lamp, but it's going to it's doing the job quite nicely. Now, I'm, like I said, I've been doing it from top to bottom, and now we're going to do it from side to side. Oops, we got some color contamination going on there. We're going to nip that off in the bud. Get up. Yeah, there is. This is where they're learning to do your cold wells come in handy. It doesn't happen overnight. Just keep practicing to where you learn how to put that cold weld on just enough to do the job. Not that you can't untap it. Practice, practice, and oh, by the way, more practice. That lamp is still looking a little... but it's smoothing, smoothing out a whole lot. And again, if you think it's becoming more of a pancake, you tilt it outward and it teardrops a little bit. You want it to make it more a uh, round blob, you back and forth, back and forth. It, gravity works for you. Let it work for you, okay? Gravity works, let it work for you. That's what I'm trying to get out. Just a little bit more. Matter of fact, you know what? A lot of you won't even have a and sometimes it's even better to fine, uh, fine, uh, fine tune the surface of some of these marbles with just a single flame. Okay? You can see that in the... Now it's starting to cool a little bit and I'm hoping that you're get, getting a chance to see the colors in this thing and the twist, but you may not be able to. I guess I can do one thing. Be careful here. I gotta do this. All right. Ah, bright light. Ah, that went my, my my lens. Everything's around it. Okay. With that, this one's done. I'm gonna tap it and fire polish this and put it in the oven. It may not be a perfect marble, but for teaching's sake. Oh, I put it on the wrong side. There we go. Here, here, here. Always trying to keep that where you had the divot on the top side. There it is. Making sure it's where you can melt it in. And you have one. UV reactive. Oh, there we go. Let's see if I can't fire polish a little bit of that out. 
UV reactive marble. Thanks for watching, people. As always, carpe vitro and enjoy your day. Uh, yeah, it got a little warpy. But also, oh, 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 okay, now I'm going to put this right there. Actually, it doesn't look too bad right there where you can see the colors and stuff going on. But I'm going to add one more dimension. Lights out. Black light on. Boom. Whoops. Nice and swirly. Ain't that cool. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day.